What's up everybody, this is Mr. Hammonds from Lumberton High School and also a youth pastor agent from Mount Ed Baptist Church and I am a certified science fanatic. And I'm excited about this eclipse on Monday because it is an example of how amazing God is. But I want you to be able to watch this safely and you might not have any solar glasses. So if you don't, I made a perfect solar viewer right here that I saw online, but I adapted it with some materials that makes it extremely cheap. You can make this for less than $10 in less than 15 minutes, and it's a perfectly safe way to see the sun and the moon come across. Come and check this out. If you look really close right here, you'll see a circle in there. And when you look at that circle, that is a perfect example of the sun. And as the moon crosses that, you'll be able to see it. So this is a perfect way that you'll be able to see this eclipse as a group. I could see senior citizens are able to sit here and see it. Groups of people were able to come and see it, and it's really made out of just cardboard, a lens, and duct tape. So check this out, and I'm going to show you how to make it. The materials needed to make the solar viewer are on the table, and you can see that they would be inexpensive. You only need one science display board. I got it from Walmart. It costs $3 and something. It is the 48-inch by 36 inch and you can just use cardboard uh, and cut up the cardboard but you'll see later that being able to fold this trifold makes it a whole lot easier also i have duct tape uh any kind of duct tape will work this is some fancy duct tape donated by chloe i needed a ruler i got an exacto knife you can use scissors or a box cutter but you have to be very careful with children i got two clips that i need to kind of hold it together and for a lens you need a plus one pair of reading glasses and you need the lens out of that so very inexpensive way to experience this solar eclipse okay the first step is we're going to need uh, our box is going to be six inch by six inch by six inch and the reason i like these tri boards is because this is actually 12 inches so we're going to need our two six inches here, and we're going to need another six inches from this fold. So I'm using the ruler, and I'm going to measure six inches coming from the crease that's already here. There's the crease there, and that's six inches. And then when I come here, you know, that is another six inches. And then when I come here, that's another six inches. So now this is going to be my straight line that I'm going to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that now, and that'll be the first step. Okay, so we cut the first piece, and remember, this was six inches here. So you really need two of these. So now I'm going to take the other part of the tri-board, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Coming from this crease, I'm going to also come six inches. So I'm measuring here, and I'm coming across six inches here, and I'm measuring here, and I'm coming across six inches here, and I'm measuring here, and I'm coming across six inches here. So then I'm going to draw my line here, and I'm going to cut this out also so that this piece here from the crease is also 6 inches. And that'll be that step. Okay, now I have took the tri-board, and I've cut my 6 inches from this crease, 6 inches from this crease, and that really made this center piece here that we're going to need some of this later. But what I need to be able to do now is I need to fold this up into three sides. So I really need to make a crease here six inches from the edge. Because the white is gonna be the inside of the viewer, I'm gonna fold it over. And what I'm gonna do now is when I fold it over, I'm gonna make me a crease right here. So now I'm gonna draw six inches from here and I'm gonna make a crease. So I need to go six inches from the edge and make a crease. So I'm getting my ruler and I'm coming here from this edge and I'm gonna go six inches, that's right here. I'm coming here from the edge I'm going to go six inches here, coming here from the edge, and I'm going to go six inches here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my line to connect here so I can come over six inches. But now what you need to do here when I cut this part here, when I cut this part here, I'm not going to cut all the way down. I don't want to cut this piece off. I just want to be able to fold it. So I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut me a crease here, and I'm just gonna cut and kind of skewer it a little bit because I wanna be able to fold it. So as I go right here, and I come down, I'm just gonna skewer it a little bit like this. And I come here, and I'm just gonna skewer it a little bit. All I really want to do is make a crease. That's all I wanna do is make a crease. So I'm coming here, 
I got my marks for six inches and I'm coming down. I got my marks here for six inches. I'm coming down. I got my mark here for six inches. I'm coming down like that. Now, having steered it a little bit, now I can come and fold it. And then you can see that is what I want there. Six inches, six inches, six inches here. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna mark six inches over. I'm gonna steer it so that I can have two of these. And that'll be that step. Okay, so I have my part of my trifold here. I have my part of my trifold here. And remember that extra piece that we had in the center? I need it because we need ends to go on our viewer. And to use the ends, I'm using my ruler. And this is why this trifold, the way it's measured, is really helpful. Because this rectangle here is really 12 inches wide. And since I need these squares to be six inches, cause the ends are six inches by six inches by six inches, I'm gonna measure here six inches. I got my line there. I'm gonna measure here six inches. And I got my dot there. And I'm gonna measure here six inches. I got my dot there. And then I'm gonna measure the center up top here for six inches. And I mean, it sounds complicated, but really all I'm doing is marking off, making two squares here at the bottom that are six inches a piece. And this is going to be the end caps of the viewer. So right like this. And now I got a six inch square and a six inch square. And you want to cut those out completely. So that'll be that step. So I have my two six inch end caps cut out of the extra piece. The purpose of them is for you now to take both of your pieces of cardboard. And you're just going to put the six inch piece right here. It's going to fit perfectly right here on the end. And then you're just gonna get your duct tape and make some nice pieces of duct tape to put this on this end. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other one. And that'll be the end of that. Okay, here we have now the six inch piece taped onto this end. And we have the six inch piece taped onto this end. So this is our viewer, two separate pieces. Now we have to have one end is gonna have our lens. And remember, you have to have a pair of reading glasses plus one. And then I use someone, uh, maybe if you're a young person, you need an adult to help you get this lens out. So I pop this lens out of the glass and this lens needs to come on this end of the viewer. You need to make a viewing hole. And I took my ruler and when I took my ruler, I kind of went and marked where three inches occurs. And then I went on this side and I marked where three inches occurs. And you want your viewer hole to be about a half inch. So then I measured there for about a half inch. So now I'm going to use my exacto knife and I'm going to cut a circle here, a viewing hole about a half inch. And once I cut that hole, I'm going to duct tape my lens over the top of that hole. And that'll be the end of that step. Okay, we just cut the hole. That was the half inch hole in this end of the six inch square. And then you can see right here, I hope you can see that that's the lens of the of the glasses, the plus one reading glasses. And I just put those lens over and then I duct tape them over that end and that end is done. And now technically you have your viewer completed because this end will go here where the lenses are located up top and this end will go here like this. I have my little clips here in case I need to clip them. You don't necessarily even have to do this, but I have my little clips here where I can clip them. And then, uh, and, and notice right here, you know, if, if, if there's a little bit of a gap right here, then all I'm gonna have to do is take my X-Acto knife and kind of cut a rectangle there and cut a rectangle there. And then this is just for you to kind of hold these two pieces together like that. The purpose of having two pieces is a little bit of adjustment. This allows it to be able to slide. When you go outside to adjust it, you might wanna slide it a little bit like this and set it up. And we're gonna go outside and set it up and let you check it out. So we've made our viewer with the lens at the top, and if you come now, when you allow the sun to go through the lens straight down, if you look down there at the bottom, that's where you'll see our sun, and that's where you'll be able to see the eclipse. Clouds are going over it right now, and it's detailed enough where you can see the clouds going across the sun. I hope you enjoy the eclipse.